I'd like to describe how I created this tower of a name. So the first thing I did was I created a vanishing point and then I I put a couple angles on it. Then I uh, put a line for the first line of the name and then uh, if the name was longer on top, which it is, I left less space on top. So I went like that and I I filled in the name Michael and then Smith and then I put the end of it. Then I created another vanishing point over here for the tower's wall and uh, and I I drew my lines up towards that and I put another line there, another guidance line. So as you can see I have sort of a tower already. Um, then I sort of lightly filled in the names. Then I went over with another ruler and I filled in the names more exactly. And you, as you can see every, every, every letter is a block letter. The C's are a block letter. The, the S is a block letter. So, and then uh, for the bricks in the wall, I went down to the vanishing point for each line of bricks. I used uh, Crayola markers, fine line for small drawings and just regular markers for big drawings. So I went uh, to the vanishing point for every row of bricks, as you can see, and then for the S, I left a, 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 a hole here that corresponds to this. T to create the block effect on the letters, I went to the vanishing point and I put an angle on each letter that, that meets the vanishing points. Then, then for, for this uh, banner, I just drew a banner and that's... Uh, And you can actually write on the banner if you want to write something. And then I outlined each letter in black. And then I filled it in.